Hello and welcome everyone. This is Scala and this is the Scala Craft. Uh, it's been a while here. <laughs> uh, yeah, actually, it's not been almost two years to be honest. And well, here I am back with another game uh, of, uh, of a Starcraft 2. Yeah, Legacy of the Void. And uh, well, since nobody sent me any replays uh, for a while at least, uh, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna stream one of my games. Um, yeah, so let's start with introducing here on the map of uh, Ulrina on the bottom left corner, playing with the blue Terran, it's a game player named Modano. And on the top left corner, playing Red Zerg, it's the your only uh, Scala. So, yeah, this is game. Uh, it's. Oh, well, actually, I played it uh, a few weeks ago. Uh, it's uh, actually the final of a gold tournament. One v one new new feature here on the Starcraft Legacy of the World is a tournament not happening actually every few hours. You can just hop in, enjoy the game, um, battle some uh, some some games until I think that's a best of one. So only get one victory and proceed. And as you see here on on, uh, on the blue turn here, Modano, uh, it's a trophy. So he already won one tournament before that. And as you see, next to my hatchery there is nothing. Okay, so uh, Legacy of the Void, a lot of changes here in the gameplay. And new units, new tactics, everything new. And also the maps. Well, I knew, I remember there was a map like this ooh, many years ago. I think in the Wings of Liberty. And probably nobody will remember this one, but um, something somehow similar. <laughs> I remember actually the planetary. Planetary Fortress rush there on the Bronze League. But okay, uh, enough of the background story, we're gonna get back to that. Uh, at the moment, you, you see that um, all the Terran is opening, quite a usual thing, just um, factory reactor going, on, sorry, Varex reactor going for factory. So, um, probably double Helion attack versus, versus uh, Zerg. Uh, Mac is actually quite strong, and uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, I I checked the the Modern build order before the game, and I noticed he's he's really playing. Well, he's actually really love to play back. Okay, so just mm, just uh, some fast scouting a little bit here. The overall placement may, might be better. Uh, fast expansion. Oh, what I do? I always love love to put out some Zerglings here, playing against against the Terran. Yeah, early scouting does the trick, but you never know. If you see the barracks and reactor, and in this case, he's probably putting out some of the marines and not moving the factory and the barracks. I'm not changing in the places. Uh, going for a fast 111. Factory, barracks, and starboard. Uh, what I'm gonna do is, phew, I'm playing old school, just a spawning pool with a, with a speed, a bayonet's nest, just gathering some guys. Um, expansion, and building up some links. Uh, <laughs> to be honest, it's been a while, I don't even recall how this game's gonna turn out, but well, you're all gonna see that. So what I'm gonna do, um, yeah, just links, 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 um, messing out some things. Yes, you see, yeah, well, of course, I didn't, didn't mention it before. A um, lot of changes here in Legacy of the Void, the, the mineral patches get to begin, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, fewer mineral patches, but actually what you do, you start with a lot more workers. More SCVs, more drones, or more probes, depending on your race you're playing. And here it is, um, first early push from, from the Zerg. You see it's a three and a half minute mark. Definitely can be done better, but as you said, it's a gold league. Uh, players are quite bad with the timings, including myself. I'm just, uh, I still have no idea about the timings here. Okay, just some, some links some bane links and you see oh they already two tanks oh not in the siege mode it's gonna be uh, that's not gonna be a good thing nice connection here but oh not, not, not enough links but okay um still some, some sort of a uh, scouting i would say and uh, not much damage done just kill the reactor kill the supply depot as you see it doesn't really affect either terran player he's not supplied captain at all um, no, building up a little bit of uh, of the bank here for the turn player. Definitely, would, he's behind of the, of the time she, timing he needs to uh, expand. No, at the moment the, the one base is saturated, but one base. Pff, to be honest, nobody plays one base here in Legacy of the Void, and um, already by the five minute mark, you see that 
quite a lot of things going on. I'm producing a lot of zerglings because I noticed there's Madivax back there in the base and uh, over placement right where it, where it's supposed to be and oh it's and it's noticed. Link's going away. Oh, just um, just a quick ignite afterburns on, on the Madivax and uh, there they go. Uh, yeah, the bat not really that that good for the traps I assume. Uh, definitely can be can be countered here here a little bit in uh, actually quite a bigger mistake here on my side no bailing still at home um, not to micro the queens and oh there goes the one the one queens down 18 links of production few, few bailings there probably gonna second queen's gonna die as well no um, managed to pull it away and then those tags yeah not the best position here definitely good position like here and just kill all the, all the workers. Uh, would be quite a blow for economy. Oh, for queen. Oh, uh, queen's dead. Send all queens in a moment. Oh, you can actually kill with the bailings. And the queen's gone. Well, that's a big hit. Big hit. And uh, as you see, supply count at the moment is quite the same. Terran is expanding it on, beh uh, on behind of this attack. Mm. Micro is not the best one, as you see. Uh, just. Nothing really producing is is really really idle and really committing to this attack. Uh, meanwhile, yeah, the other player and uh, me not really doing much as well. Uh, making a lot of links and now going for a counter attack. Still, the worker count is not as good as required. You see, 11 workers here and all the three mining guys. No guys here. Well, and here's the counter link. Ah, and you see, here's the, the, the new liberator. Quite a powerful unit here in the legacy of the void. It's very annoying. I wouldn't even say super annoying. It does a lot of damage and but yeah, well if you position it, it, it correctly. Well maybe this is not the best position. Uh, still lacking a lot of lot of micro here because if you just made it to liberate the wolf, you'll be able to kill all the links, all the bay links here. Tank placement also could be better. But that's the thing here in the gold league. There's so much mistakes and so much things to improve. And that, well, one of the best options here, best things to improve is just watch your own replays, do some quick analysis. Uh, analysis. <laughs> oh my god, um, it's getting quite late here. And I'm getting a little bit tired. It was been a long day. Still, I was uh, I was so excited to do another video. After a long, long, long time, and here I am. So yeah, um, you check your own videos, your own replays, and you, you take care of your, you take a look at your mistakes, so your your things, and well, you improve, you know. And just just adjust your placement of the units, uh, of the timings and everything. So at the moment you see the eight minutes mark. I'm already going for the third base, and it's not really actually already. It's been quite a late. And definitely be, should should be done should be done better should be done faster. Well, can't say anything about uh, the Terran player. Well, quite turtling back in the base, um, making some tours, making some hell hell bats, and definitely going for a Mac. And especially now with the Liberators, the Mac is ultra strong. Well, <laughs> maybe not ultra, of course, but um, it's been definitely been getting stronger than before. Uh, also, one of my weak sides is uh, I think uh, I'm not really that great playing against Mac. Uh, in this case, the Terran player was going for the Bio Mac mix up in the beginning. Uh, no early Hellion push could could be could be really really effective. So seeing just uh, the usual minor unit placement, and I'm starting to work on my creep spread. The things I oh, always fall a little bit in behind. And uh, need to focus more. Okay, so what we see now is uh, I'm going for the well, Ling Roach mix mix of the of the army. Uh, while Terran is going heavily for the mech, heavy tours, few Hellbats, a few tanks, few Liberators, not much Marines. Uh, I assume there's not even any any anti air, right? Yeah, no anti air apart from the tours. And uh, of course, liberators can shoot up. 
mm, that's the unit is is really good good against against the ground ground units and well can also do some damage in the air. Okay, also the new unit here is the Ravagers for the Zerg. Really strong, really nice way to spend your your bank bank money. Uh, do quite a good damage. Mainly playing versus the ground or with ground forces, but if you if you attack the car accordingly, you can kill down the liberators with no problem. Um, see, at the moment, my, <laughs> my supply count is not the best one. Also, because I don't have a lot of links, and uh, how bad are just gonna kill the links with no, uh, without any effort. Well, uh, Tanner is gonna move out. Probably gonna take the third base. That will be. Obvious, obvious thing to do. Uh, expanding with more factories, uh, doing some upgrades. And what I'm gonna do? I'm doing in the background. It's just like only one evolution chamber, one upgrade on the range. Not the best position to be here, to be honest. At 11 minute mark, just drew base, three bases. Not fully associated. Only seven workers, six workers. So Eight workers. Oh god, that would that's a good economy, but oh god, here's a big engagement here. Oh, uh, he's one tourist down. As you see, the Ravagers do a lot of damage if you don't move those units away. Uh, almost one kill. Uh, the Hellbat. Oh, no. uh, nice concave here and reinforcements are a on the way. Also, the Spine Crawler is a little bit too late, but it was, it's able to take care of I'm just telling you to take care of the tank. Okay, it looks good, it looks good. All the back. Very, very expensive arm to be taken care of. Um, of course, on, on the background, you see that the desert player is really easy, uh, able to spend all the money, all the savings, but the Terran is, well, he's a little bit behind on that. Uh, as you see, there's only, oh, well, hmm, I, was, I wanted to say just a few factories, but it's already four, four factories, one harmony is constantly working on upgrades. Uh, starboard not really doing anything, and the barracks is idle as way. Um, as you see, from the Terrence player, only two two shortcuts, just one one for orbital, and one for the factories. While uh, the Zerg is doing actually not really good as well, you know, just uh, the factories and the queens for injections. Definitely better. And now the Zerg is doing some some upgrades here as well. Uh, yeah, well, need to work on on, on the. On some harassment, I, I thought there was a there was a spire. Did I miss it? Oh, yes, no. Um, just a really, really, really small group of units here, and uh, well, as you see, that I'm quite behind here in the supply. Oh, well, Terran is playing really defensively, and actually, there's two options. See, if the Terran is taking control of the map here. Making sure I'm not expanding to any of other of the base locations. You should be able to do just fine by sitting the base. Just slowly take the base and maxing up to 2 up to up to. And I just keep opening up all those upgrades. Well, at least something so. <laughs> uh, of course, the, just a bunch of doors. Against the road Ravager. Not a really good position here. Well, it's of course taking care if, if the to the roaches is, is, is small small mm. and yeah well I'm obviously overdoing it just producing roaches over the roaches over roaches and not enough income here I assume and uh, well the bank doesn't say it's that bad and okay well, those last few engagements were quite good I managed to do to cancel the third base and pushing the turn a little bit more behind and doing some upgrades for the roaches and I'm also finally droning and that's not a bad thing you know just uh, slowly slowly doing the few good exchanges here and securing my position okay it's gonna be another another plant here in the middle center of the map well actually it's a quite strange this, this map will read them uh, I'm gonna finish it after this and this but oh bad move by the doors here, yeah definitely should move those liberators here for the center of the map, of course there's a ravagers but oh the liberators will do so much so much damage and yeah about the arena you see there's only small small map with two little gaps here but you can take down the rocks and you open a lot of, uh, lot, of lot of space for attack 
especially in the mid, mid late game. Well, probably the late game is going to be take here as well with the gold bases, but I mm, haven't really seen, seen much players taking taking care of that. And oh, again, nice cancel here on the command center. More roaches are streaming in. Constantly attacking, constantly attacking. Putting the down to the, to the pressure. As you see, he's banking up a lot, a lot of minerals. Well, that's not, not really nothing un uncommon for the gold class players. The macro is slippery, you know, they not taking full control of the things. And, and well, um, it means is taking control of it. Constantly pushing, constantly forcing him to make those mistakes. Just checking it out here the situation, and you see, he's only have left with the one base. As you said, the minerals in the main is, well, actually, a lot, lot less than it was before. A lot of SCVs are here, but you get just the one base, not much economy, and all that saved up bank is going down. I think he's trying to move, move some forces, forces around, and uh, at least finally moving those liberators for some defense position here in the front. Oh, and then we finally gonna see some corruptors. Corruptors are uh, not the worst thing, but it's a it's a it's a quite, quite a efficient way to take care of the liberators. But definitely not when the doors are out. Mm. What you need to do is just uh, oh, I think I I made a good decision here in this type of the game when the Terran player is it's turtling out and he's having only one base available. Uh, already trying to, already almost mined out, just a um, few thousand of minerals left, actually even less than a thousand, uh, I mean less than two thousand, uh, and oh, he's moving out the base, and there's the corruptors, they, they catch the base, and there's gonna be a mutus, finally the mutus is gonna take a place, and uh, that's not a thing, you always want need to have a uh, Despire for a Zerg player, because you never know, it's gonna be good, 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 good be handy right now, you see. The Corruptors are taking care of the liquor. There's a big engagement here. Not really good for the Zerg player because not enough Ravagers, not enough Roaches. Uh, also pushing in some STDs as this is a shield. Oh, that's quite a big hit here for the doors. Uh, that's looking a little bit grim. Uh, you just are taking care of, of the command center. But the Zerg army here is devastated, and and Taran is going for another push. You see, what's scary here is, is having one two upgrade here. Well, there is only one. Um, you might not think that the, the plus one armor is, is is that much for the tours. We do a lot of lot of uh, great thing and then uh, a nice adjustment uh, because if you if you use those those roaches and. Uh, all the, with the, all the slow hits, all the armor we're gonna do a good thing. Uh, what their army is missing at the moment is definitely a tanks, I would say. Uh, of course, there's not not any links or anything, but just for the ground position, uh, a few practical attacks here and there, and again, uh, the position here with the doors not being able to hit all the time at, at, at the same time. And oh, it's a little bit stuck, and you see the ravages are doing a really great job here with this. They just put a jump down as a massive, massive damage him. And of course, the half bad, so that will be the end of the last real chips on your ruptures. Um, weird choice. And oh, here is the GG. Uh, as you see, the Terran player wasn't able to, to push anything, and he mined out the main base and uh, all the main natural, and wasn't able to put the second base in time, and already Zerg expanded and secured plus the latest last exchange that really big favor in the Zerg and here it is here's the the first game of the legacy of the world sorry for all the mistakes I've been definitely been really rusty uh, really rusty and really tired today but yeah uh, from this point forward I'm gonna definitely gonna improve and uh, thank you for watching the video uh, keep following like share and uh, if it's possible I will be really glad to see any of your replays so share just you put some information about that, what I can expect seeing in the replay, and I will definitely tune in. So, okay, guys, so see you around, and uh, thank you for watching. Bye bye.